So in EWLink, if you are struggling to connect the device using the normal method, you can aim, use the compatibility mode to assist. So you go into EWLink's app, you want to add a device, and then instead of selecting quick pairing, you scroll down to the bottom and there's compatible mode as an option. Click that. Check that the Wi-Fi settings are what your network settings should be. It's a 2.4 gigahertz network and that's your name and password. Then next. Then it says you've got to go into your Wi-Fi settings manually. Go select I tiered with the serial number behind it. And then that's the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you gotta go back to the app after you've connected. So let's go here and then we'll just search for I tiered. Ah. Freshest list. And there we see I tiered. So I just made sure it's in pairing mode and then it popped, I gave it a few seconds to pop up here. So now we can select it manually and it connects to it. And now I want to go back to our EWLink app. So then it says it wants to join the other network, our network. You say yes, it's fine. Then it, uh, it's connected to the device, given it its settings. It's now allowing the device to connect to the network. And then we connect back to our own network. And then it's been added successfully. So you can type in a different name. You can choose where to add it. So I'm leaving it as default because we're just testing. So I add it to that room. And done. Then that, it pops up here. And from here, obviously, you can turn it on and off. We can click on it. Turn it on and off. And it shows you the power that's flowing through it. And that's about it. Then you can set timers and all the other features. But that's how you add it in compatibility mode.